now that we have vectorized our data we'll be learning about feature engineering in this chapter hi this is Shonko and welcome back to NLP with Python so just for recap we have read, read in messy raw text so just for reminder we are working with this file called SMS spam collection and it is a collection of text messages which are classified as either ham or spam and we are trying to build a machine learning model out of this that can predict whether a message is spam or ham right and after reading in the text data so we have uh, read in the messy raw text using uh, pandas libraries pandas library and after reading in the data we have cleaned up the data remove punctuation remove stop words and uh, stemmed and limitized our data and then we have created uh, feature vectors out of it or we have vectorized our data to prepare it for a model for building a model now the only thing that stands between us and creating a model is feature engineering let's try to understand what feature engineering is so feature engineering is creating new features and or transforming your existing features to get the most out of your data now we have already created features uh, using the tf itf way of vectorization we have created feature vectors out of our data out of the clean data and uh, using tf itf uh, each word or each uh, unique word in our uh, file would be treated as a feature or as a column inside the uh, term document document or matrix and uh, that's well and good but there might be a few other features that we might need to take into consideration when, when trying to create a model that can predict whether a message is a spam or ham or a message is spam or non-spam right so apart from the apart from the features that we have already created or apart from the vectorization that we have already done on our data we might want to consider the length of text messages and uh, we might work with this uh, with this theory that uh, non-spam text messages tend to be shorter than spam text messages or in other words spam text messages uh, tend to be longer than uh, non-spam text messages or the percentage of characters that are punctuation in the text message might also uh, determine whether it's a spam or a ham so we can work with the theory that uh, spam text messages contain a lot of punctuation in them or the percentage of characters that are capitalized can also be taken into consideration while thinking about creating features right so uh, spam text messages we can work with this theory that spam text messages tend to have more characters that are capitalized than non-spam text messages right so after creating the features there's a thing that we need to do and that is transformation so we might be working with data that is a bit skewed and that might be having a long tail like this this tends to this has a long right tail and this data seems to be skewed and after a transformation so a transformation would bring in or uh, would tie up the skewed part or the long dragging tail of this uh, data into a tight uh, into a tight uh, diagram and it would look something like this after a transformation and that that might make the model uh, more efficient and there are uh, a few uh, transformations that we can apply on our data so we have the power transformations which is squaring up the data or maybe square uh, getting a square root of the data and so on so we might be applying a log for the data to uh, remove the skewed data or the long tail the long dragging tail right tail that you can see here of the data into a more uh, structured figure using maybe a log function on the data and we can also standardize the data that is transforming all to be on the same scale right now let's try to create these two features from our uh, from our uh, data set that we have already read in so let's take a look at what we did in our previous lesson so we read in the data using pandas library and we created uh, this uh, these columns for our data uh, for our data set 
So we have the label column which is either a, a ham or a spam and then we have the text column which holds the actual text message right and then we imported the porter stemmer for uh, stemming out the words to their root words and then we have this uh, clean text function clean text method that takes uh, takes in a text uh, text message or that takes in a string and removes punctuations and then tokenizes the uh, string into a list of words and uh, then we remove stop words from that list of tokenized words and then we stem uh, the words down to their root words from the tokenized list of words and then we return the list of words right and then we use uh, tf idf vectorizer to vectorize our data and uh, create the document or matrix out of the data so we were working with the text uh, we work with the te text column inside our data set to create the tf idf counts so that's that's the number that's the uh, values of the cells inside our uh, document or matrix Th this so tf idf underscore counts holds uh, the values of the uh, cells inside our document or matrix and then we are printing the shape of uh, the cells inside our document or matrix or basically the shape of our document or matrix right so now we are going to create two more uh, columns or two more columns inside the data data set and we would be holding the length of the text messages in one of them and we'd be holding the percentage of characters that are punctuation in the text in another in the other one right so let's first do this one length of text messages so what i'm going to do is I'm going to call data set and try to create a new column so I'm going to name the column as uh, text underscore length and all I would do is I would apply a lambda function so I would say text uh, data set and we are working with the text text column so this is a column that we are working with uh, this is the column of our data set that we are working with so uh, I would say data set text dot apply and I would call it call a lambda function so I would say lambda x and I would try to get the length of each word so I would say len of x now this means this will give me uh, the length of the whole text message now the text message might contain a lot of white spaces so there might be if, if the te uh, text message is of 10 characters long it might have uh, 9 white spaces and 1 uh, alphabet or 1 character so we need the characters we need the alphabets in our text messages we are not concerned about or we are not looking at uh, the white spaces right so we need to remove the white spaces or the count of white spaces from our uh, length right so all I would say is minus x dot count and I would say white space and let's try to print the first five records inside our data set let's go ahead and run this all right so this is how our uh, data set now looks like and this is the uh, this is the raw data or raw text and we have the text length for each column right uh, our text length for each text message and uh, again next we would be creating another feature for uh, calculating the percentage of characters that are punctuation in the text so for that I would need to import string and I would create a method which can calculate the percentage of uh, characters in a text that are punctuations right so I would say cal underscore p u n c t and this would take in a text right and I would say for care in text so that's gonna iterate over uh, the characters inside our uh, text 
if char in string dot n c t u a t i o n so that's this uh, this is gonna check this is for, for first this part for char in text is gonna uh, iterate over all the characters inside the text and the next part would check if the character is in string dot punctuation so if it would check if the character is a punctuation we would return one for that so for each punctuation it would return one so we need the sum of this I would say sum and wrap this up and that is going to give me uh, the number of uh, punctuations so I would say no underscore of underscore p u n c t so that's going to return the number of punctuations for me and we actually need the, the the percentage for the number of punctuations right we don't need the number of punctuations we rather need the percentage of punctuations uh, based on the total number of words that we have or total number of characters that we have inside a word right so i would say return uh, number of Punct divided by the total number of words so we can just grab this length of x minus so that would discard the white spaces for us and we are not actually working with x here we are working with text so I would say text minus x dot count or text dot count and I just wrap this inside brackets and uh, let's just round this to three decimal places so I would say three and let's just multiply this with 100 so that would return the uh, percentage uh, for us right and let's go ahead and run this or let's go ahead and apply this uh, on our uh, data set and let's try to create a new column for our data set so I would call that PUNCT percent so that's the punctuation percentage equals we are working with the data set and we are working with the text column inside our data set let's say apply and call in the lambda function so I would say lambda x and we need to call our cal punct method and pass in x so that's going to return us uh, the percentage of uh, characters that are uh, punctuation in our text data and let's try to print the first five records inside our data set so I would say data set dot head and go ahead and run this so we can see we have the pump percent uh, column inside our data set now right so this represents the the uh, percentage of punctuations that we have inside our uh, text message right and uh, so we have actually created two more features uh, other than the uh, the vectorization that we have already done on our text data we have already created uh, two more features so we are taking into consideration the length of uh, each text message and the percentage of punctuations inside our text message right and that is all for this chapter and in the next chapter we are going to plot this on a histogram plot our uh, plot our data on a histogram and try uh, to evaluate how our uh, how our data looks or how our features look and uh, that's all for this chapter and stay tuned for the next one bye